First impressions matter a lot. A famous study by psychologists at the University of California discovered that when you meet someone new, it takes less than a tenth of a second for your judgments to start forming. And this starts to control how you respond to people. Apparently, something as simple as a smile makes it much easier to like someone, to believe what they say, and to be interested in them. So, first impressions are important. Well then, what about your introduction to your English critical essay? Just like the first smile when you meet someone, your essay introduction is your opportunity to set the tone and to show the examiner that you know exactly what you are doing. Let's make the right start. This is Thinkful. An introduction is a way of setting the scene for the critical essay you're about to write. Lots of people say that they struggle with introductions as they feel like they don't know where to start. I would suggest starting with the basic information and then make sure you address the question and also define the key terms of the question. When you're planning and writing an introduction, remember bad. So I suppose I am about to tell you how to write a bad but excellent introduction. Firstly, it's really important to remember that the person marking your exam is not your teacher. They don't know what text you have studied and may not have even read the text you're writing about. So an introduction needs to include basic information about your text, the title, the author, the main theme, and a short summary. You also need to address the question. By this, I suppose I mean answer it very briefly. Your whole essay will be answering the question, but you need to begin guiding the examiner through your argument or line of thought. Importantly, you need to define the terms of the question. By addressing the question, you will have used the keywords or terms from the question itself. You will need to clarify exactly what these key terms mean to you in the context of your chosen text and essay. Let's have a look at this in more detail. Here is an essay question for prose fiction. Choose a novel or short story in which there is a central character to whom you react with mixed feelings. With reference to appropriate techniques, briefly explain why you react to the character in this way and discuss how this reaction adds to your understanding of the text as a whole. The text I'm going to use is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Let's get started. Beginning with the basic information, we need the title, Pride and Prejudice, author, Jane Austen, theme, Prejudice, and a summary, three or four lines is fine. We also need to address the question using the words of the question. So in this case, you want to use the words central character, react, and mixed feelings. Often questions have more than one part to consider. In this case, you need to briefly address why you react to the character in this way and how this reaction adds to your understanding of the text as a whole. Finally, we need to define the key terms in this example. You need to explain which central character you will discuss. I'm going to look at Mr. Darcy. The mixed feelings I'm going to write about are dislike or antipathy and sympathy. Remember, this is just an introduction. This shouldn't be too long or take you ages. It should be a clear and concise paragraph that establishes what you are going to be talking about in the essay. So remember, your introduction, your smile, is your best shot at creating a good first impression with the examiner. And who knows, maybe you'll be smiling when the exam results come back. This was Think4. Thanks for watching.